everyone. Um, I would like to explain to you and show you a simple um, circuit that we have here. In this circuit, we have a stop button, start button, and M there is this drawing here shows a coil. So a coil on a relay. So this stop button that we have on our circuit, the way it's drawn here, whenever we look at component on a wiring diagram, is always drawn in its non-actuated state. So when I say non-actuated, I mean that there's no outside influences causing it to move. So with these here, these are push buttons. So I say stop PB, that means stop push button. So when the push button is not pushed, it is allowing, um, it's going to have uh, continuity, okay? So if this L1 is 120 volts, it's going to allow 120 volts through here without pushing it. But as soon as I push it, it's going to open it. Okay. So here uh, we have a start button and the way it is drawn is that it is not allowing continuity through here. So there is no way for current to flow from one side to the other unless I actually push the button. Okay. Now over here is our coil. On our coils, typically you have an A1 and A2, and when the one side becomes energized and the other side is to our neutral, which is our potential difference from our 120, so we actually have current flow all the way through. If we get through the stop button, start button, we will energize this coil here. So let me demonstrate. Um, I know it's hard to see in the video, but this is green. So right now this tells me that L1 is providing current through the stop button, which is wired normally closed, right? and is sitting here at start PB. On the other side of part start PB, it's black. So it's telling me that this current is not the same on the other side. So the flow is stopped at this point. But once I press a button, it will now allow the current through. You can see the color change. I know it's very subtle. I'm sorry that the color difference does not show up better there. But it is now green, and it's allowing current to head through and to energize this coil. So if this start button is going to say energize uh, a conveyor system, a motor for a conveyor system, say it's going to energize a motor for a conveyor system. So I push this down and the conveyor starts. Well, the operator is going to have to sit there and hold that button the whole time to run that conveyor. So I don't really think that um, that may be something that we would be common practice in the workplace. So. On our next video, I'm going to show you how you would seal that start button on so that the operator doesn't have to sit there the whole time and uh, hold the button down to run the conveyor. Anyways, uh, any questions or comments below, uh, please put them there. All right, thanks. Bye.